Hello, welcome back to another video where I uh, show some books from the collection of David and today we will be looking at some DC War books uh, mainly the title Our Fighting Forces um, This is probably not the most popular war titles that come out of DC I think um, you know, GI Combat and Our Army at War are likely the two popular titles. And this one, I don't think it is. I could be wrong, but uh, I think it's probably the least um, collected titles. But I liked it, especially during the Bronze Age, early 70s, where they have the losers. Uh, here's a copy. Let me see if I can. There you go. That's better. Um, many of the books from David for this title are around the eight eight five ish. Like this book, there's something on the spine here, but lovely covers. Tough book to find in high grades. You know, whenever you have a black covers like this, it's never easy. But I love the way. Joe Kubert incorporate the word the losers on all the covers. He did this for quite um, a few years. So that's one. That's issue 130. That was the first book, I believe, in David's run. There was some other Silver Age book, but they were in very low grades. Here's 131. There you go again with the losers. Very nice copy. Yeah, they're all many of these books, like I said, is in the eight point five range. They all have like, like this one here has a little ding right there in the corner. This one a little bit nicer. Submarine, that's pretty cool. And here is my favorite covers of this run. Take a look at this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous drawing by Cho Kubert. Hot wash. Just look at that. Very nice copy. Here is one of the nicer issues. Kind of a boring covers in my opinion, but it's still pretty cool how once again Joe found an innovative way to put the word the losers on the covers. This is a nice one here. You know, unlike um, the other war title that uh, prominently features um, tanks on the covers, this title, as you can see so far, you tend not to see the tanks. I like this cover. Instead of tanks, what you see a few times are fighting planes. Beautiful drawings here. One of my favorite covers of this series for sure. This is a beautiful copy. Now, sometimes you don't have to be ultra high grade to be beautiful. Like, you know, like many of these books are in the 8.5, 8.0 range. They all have little flaws like here but overall they are still pretty good looking very collectible and uh, let me see the last three issues that I took out of the bags are the 9698 UDs I believe this is the last uh, of the series uh, as far as how 
you know, the loser's um, uh, design on the covers. I could be wrong, but uh, I think it is the last. Gorgeous covers. Unfortunately, I saw issue 140 to 148 long ago. It's one of those few um, run of David. I, I actually saw uh, some of the books. So, I can't know for sure. Here's 145, and as you can see, the losers become part they changed the way they did the wording for the losers. So I did sell 140 to 144. Here's 149. Beautiful book. Kind of a boring covers, but still pretty cool. And perhaps my second favorite covers of this run is the last. Look at that. This is a beautiful, you know, 9.8 copy. New stand fresh. Razor sharp everywhere. And you have an awesome drawing right there. Love it. Anyhow, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.